refused to fuck with the media, but I had to tap in with my people, man, refused media, that interview coming soon, they just lined me up for the free throw, you hear me? Yeah, do be on the lookout, oh. Alright, 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 man. We got a young note, man. Yeah, Welcome to Refuse yeah. Media, man. Yeah, yeah. It's been a long time coming, but we finally put it together, man. Hey, we, we here. here. We here we today. Here. Hell yeah. For show for show, man. Let's go ahead and start him off, man, with the name, Young Note. How did it originate? Where did it come from? Give me the story. Uh, shit. My original name was uh, C Note. I was under my homie and shit from the hood and all that shit, but I just. Niggas started calling me Note off a of C Note, just calling me Note because it was shorter, I guess, abbreviation or whatever. But I just started rocking with that, and I threw the young in front of it because I was young at the time when I started rapping and shit. So that's how that came about. I just kept the young on there, just kept it pushing. Okay, and how old? Shit, I was like nine years old. When you started rapping? Hell yeah, oh, I made shit. a, uh, I made a fucking um, a little verse and I went to school with my homie we used to go to school me my brother and my homie and shit we used to go to school we used to rap it and shit when we rap it everybody would go crazy but my homie was rapping some written shit that niggas had already rapped like some young buck shit or something I'm really thinking he's spitting his own shit but he was rapping somebody <laughs> else shit I'm spitting my own shit and everybody was reacting crazy to it so from there I was just like yeah that's what I want to do like nigga I'm gonna be a rapper fuck it go go how old was you when you recorded your first song? Shit, I was like 14. I was in, uh, shit, I don't know if you heard of her name, Steviana. She a female rapper and shit, but I recorded at her dad's house. I recorded, like, the first time I ever recorded a track, I was like 14, recorded at his house and shit. That shit was crazy. Okay, okay, and what made you want to do it? Like, what made you even want to rap? Shit, I was good at it. I, I liked it, the attention from it. Like, everybody, how they reacted to me was like, man, this nigga dope. They was telling everybody. Like, I just liked it, the attention. But when I really realized that I was good at it, that's when I was like, okay, I'm going to really fuck with this shit. But I was still shy, though. Like, I wouldn't rap for shit. My brother would try to make me rap. I wouldn't do it. I just knew I was good at it, but I was scared about what the people would say. But once I started doing it, I was like, fuck it. I'm in there. I'm going to just keep going. So that's how that all came about. Just kept doing it. <clears throat> Would you say you had any music musical influences at the time? Uh, when I first wrote my first rap, crazy. Like, it's a crazy-ass story. Niggas probably might not even believe it, but it's real crazy. We were staying with my uncle at the time on 63rd and Victoria. And, uh, Nipsey Hussle was always around there. Like, always around there. Nigga was giving the CDs and shit. We was watching this shit, but... I'm not going to say he inspired me, but he was, like, doing this shit at the time. He wasn't really as big as he was now, but he was doing this shit over there at that time. And when I wrote my first rap, I rapped it for the nigga. I don't know if he remember or not, but rapped it and shit. My brother helped me with the shit. And shit, that's what really made me, like, just really keep going with the shit. You feel that's me? Dope. Like, that's dope. You rapping, you rapping it? Yeah. What was his reaction at the time? Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like... It was a long time ago. I was a kid. I was nine, like I said. My sister used to do his hair and shit. He used to come in there and do his hair. I, I feel like he was fucking with it, not like on some, you gonna be the kid. next big okay, thing. Okay. Yeah, I was a kid, you feel me? Like, running around there and shit, just living with my uncle at the time. Niggas wasn't, you feel me? I don't know. It was just regular shit. I didn't know he was, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't know he was gonna be as big as he was, you feel me? I was just rapping for him because I knew he rapped. Like, he gave me a CD. It was a video of him like rapping and shit. He had a girl in the video and shit that was dancing or whatever. She was dancing on him while he was rapping and shit. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this shit. So I just rapped for him the next time I seen him. Like, I could mm -hmm. do this shit too type shit. And, and he was, 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 was he, was, was he, at the he was feeling it at the time. Like he was just listening to it. Like he wasn't but, no. But at, at the time was, at the time was he <laughs> Nipsey Hussle or he was just, um, was he, was he like, or he was just street famous at the time? That's, cr I don't know if he was Nipsey Hussle. I don't know. I, I, he was on some, it wasn't like gang banging and all that shit, like, I don't really remember, like, I was a kid, you feel me, but I don't think it was on no gang banging shit like that, it was gang banging, and the video was him rapping, it was a girl dancing on it, looked like they was in a hotel room and shit, but he was always around that area, so I knew he was gang banging, like, I knew where we was at, we was there with my uncle and shit, but every time he came in there, like, when he came around us, he was either getting his hair done, he wasn't around his homies, like, banging or nothing, my sister was either doing his hair, or he was, like, hollering at my uncle about some shit, and I just came up and rapped for him, like, <laughs> that shit was crazy. 
Okay, okay, so that's dope. That's some that's something people wouldn't know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we working on a project or we dropped one recently? We finna drop one, matter of fact. We finna drop one, uh Murder Vile State of Mind. Okay. Either yeah. at the end of this month or the beginning of the next month. Stay tuned, that motherfucker in the works right now. What's the what's the single off that one? Uh too short. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I reacted to that, huh? Yeah. Yeah. That shit went crazy, man. Yeah. I think we had like what? Almost forty thousand views on that yeah. motherfucker? Yeah, that motherfucker got. Hell yeah. That's what I was saying. I peeped the style on the reaction. Animated uh big nigga who ain't afraid to show you what's cracking, huh? Yeah, hell yeah, <laughs> man. Hell yeah. We finna yeah. tap all the way in, man. That's off what top. we do. Off top, off top. The reaction was crazy too. I seen the reaction. The shit was dope, man. Yeah, look. Look at appreciation. What was uh what was young young though like super young like we got a little bar what you were saying earlier but like seventh grade what was you up into? Crazy shit man. I know that shit sound like mediocre. Everybody said that shit, but I was really in some crazy shit. Like I was bouncing around, moving around. Like I wasn't like settled on you know who I was. I was still trying to figure out what I was gonna do. I was still rapping and shit. I was always rapping. But I was trying to figure out what I was going to do, shit, doing crazy shit, like getting in trouble, all type of shit, man, going to jail and shit, like, I was on some weird shit, but shit, it is what it is. Okay, so take me to your city, for those that don't know on my platform, like, yeah, man, Moreno Valley. See. Like, okay, somebody come to Moreno Valley. Okay, first of all. First of all, let them know where's that from as far as like the LA that they know on TV. They know LA on TV, like what they yeah. see on TV. So where is that? Where is Marino Valley? We're in, the, we're in the IE, you feel me? Riverside, you feel me? I guess you could say Riverside County, but Marino Valley is a city, you feel me, in between that, between Marino Valley and everything else behind it. But shit, it's like, I wouldn't say it's, you know, like L.A. or anything like that, nigga. I mean, it's people that come from L.A. and be out there, and it's people that got family and all that shit. That's how a lot of people are starting to know about it. But, shit, I would say it's like it's like every, every other hood, every other city, you feel me? Like, of course, you got your bad parts, you got your good parts, and shit, Marino Valley is just, I guess, a place where niggas feel like they can go and get away, but it ain't really that. Okay. okay. It ain't really that, you know? <coughs> lavish like everybody think okay so this is what I like to ask like to get a feel of like who settled out there like what's height what races are like at the high school an example like in LA it's really um, black and Latino Long Beach you gonna see some more Samoans you go to Moreno Valley like who it's a mixture it's a okay. mixture you see blacks you see whites you see Mexicans it's a mixture of everybody okay everybody Belgium, like literally Belgium. everybody like you see everybody okay okay um, any 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 artist that kind of who was like the most okay no pun who was the most notable like, <laughs> most notable artist out of like Marino Valley like anybody who made it to like that level um, shit. it's wide open right now I would say it's wide open it's open for the taking man like you got people that's coming out of there that's doing their shit but I feel like it's open for the taking right now okay okay, okay and back to the back to the young young note. Um, with the stuff that you was getting into, what would you tell them if you could give them some advice? And I mean, like, ain't shit in his life don't change. You still gonna be um, here with refused media, but yeah, yeah, yeah. what would you tell them to prepare them? Shit, I'd just be like, man, work, you feel me? Put more work into it instead of getting knocked off track. So that's what niggas go through, you feel me? Like, we, we tend to do something that we really believe in and really wanna do, but everyday life, we go through stuff that'll make us feel like, man, that shit ain't, you know? Yeah. Same thing with music, you feel what I'm saying? So I was just telling you know, stay consistent, continue doing what it is that you want to do and don't give up. Because I, I tend to did that, like when I was a kid, give up a lot. Not really want to fuck with it at certain times when certain things was going on. But shit, we here now, so. What's it about music that made you not give up? Like you said, you've been doing it since nine. What, what, what's um, the music? Like, I, had a, I had an uncle. My uncle Robert, resting in peace. He was a, uh, we was like close in age, like my real blood uncle. We was real close in age and shit, and he had got killed. From he got killed, then he was rapping like that's. I was rapping around him and shit. Like he was somebody that I looked up to as far as music was concerned. 
I rapped for him like a couple of days before he passed away and shit. And he was like, man, like your shit hard. Keep doing what you're doing and shit like that. And when he passed away, I was just like, fuck, like if I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna just keep doing the music. Like fuck it. Thus far, what you would say the realest song you ever wrote? Shit, I got a song that's unreleased. <laughs> I got a, a couple <laughs> songs that's unreleased, but I mean, shit, I rap, I speak that real shit too in my music. Like if you go on my album, you gonna hear some shit like that. If you go back on SoundCloud and listen to all the music I got on there, YouTube, it's like one or two of them songs you gonna hear where you're talking about some real shit. But I got a song unreleased called. Um, I got a song called Mistakes, matter of fact. I'll probably fuck around and drop it just because we broke it up. But I got a song called Mistakes. That shit go crazy, man. It's like some real life shit. Okay. So you uh, you independent or you signed? Um, I'm signed. I'm signed to, uh, it's the first music group. And uh, shit, with that being said, like, for me, that's who. I've been fucking with, you know, the, the, uh, the owner of that, <coughs> of that label. Um, so shit, I just felt like it was right to, you know, keep it going. Like I said, I've been doing this shit for a minute. When I first met the owner of that label, I was like 14 years old. And, uh, shit, we just been rocking. We kind of like lost communication for about a couple of years, then we started rocking again. But yeah, I'm officially signed to, uh, it's the first music group. Yeah, how did you, how did, uh, how did that come about? Like, how did, you know what I mean? How did they take um, interest into you and it come out to be in a deal? Shit, like I said, <laughs> when I was 14, I was in the club. I don't even, I don't remember how the fuck I got in there. I was with some people, with some older, my older people and shit that I was hanging with some homies. And um, we got in the club and shit and I met the manager to, I mean the uh, owner of It's The First. He was on stage rapping and shit. And uh, my brother got his attention and shit, had me rap for him. So I went outside the club, I rapped for him. He was fucking with me. He at the time was fucking with Gorilla Black and uh, Dollar Figure. So that, uh, I went and rapped for him. He was fucking with me the next day. He introduced me to Gorilla Black and shit. Everything else was history. Mm -hmm. Then we lost communication for a couple of years. And then shit, just like last year, 2018 of like March, June, I'll probably say like June, we started fucking around again and shit. We here now, man. Refuse media. We fucking here. That's you know dope. I mean? That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. And who is the owner? You know, you, who? Uh, any means. Okay. Yeah, any That's means, cool. man. I just wanted to get that shout out on there. Hell yeah. That's all. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Hell yeah, shout out my nigga Any Means, man. All time, all time, all time. Uh, what you think you'll be doing if there is no such thing as music? Shit. It's crazy. I don't know. I really honestly don't know. I'll probably fucking... Shit, trying to find something something to do man I don't know I really can't I don't know that's like really a hard question for me cause it's like I know people say yeah that. everybody yeah. say have a backup plan and shit like of course I'll have to work you know what I mean or find another hobby or something but shit I don't know I don't even think I could live without music that yeah. shit crazy that's why I ask like that cause if yeah. I say not an artist you could say oh I'll be a producer right 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 right, 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 say, right. No, it's, not, it's no such you know what I mean can't. so I try to Come. bring your artistic you know what I mean but yeah. you know like yeah, yeah. it'll be some. I think it'll be some artistic Man. the way you the way you get it probably out. probably like clothes or something like how we do I did this shit me and my brother but yeah. clothes or something you know something like you said artistic where do you think you pulled your style from battle rap for sure mm battle rap for sure i started off battle rapping like i killed niggas all at venice beach that's dope i got footage yeah i'm gonna drop some of that shit uh off battle rap yeah um uh, i would have to say tay rock it's tay rock i'm fucking with tay rock for sure he's killing shit like he just i like tay rock i like uh new jersey twerk um Sue serve, you know, all niggas that got yeah. good bars, yeah, you feel me? Yeah, you know, yeah, you know yeah. what it is, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, waiting, got, I'm waiting for you to say me? my boy, um, I'm like, hold up. I like, yeah, I know, it's a lot of them, it's a lot of them. Charlie Clips, yeah. Hitman yeah. Holla. Charlie, though. Uh, I like that K-Shine. K-Shine, hard. Snapping. K-Shine be snapping. K-Shine be snapping. Snap. <laughs> snap. snap. Calico was the reason why I started watching it, though. Okay. Calico, but I don't, I don't feel like he, like, really, you know, he probably on some other shit, but. When I first started watching Calico, he was killing niggas. Then Tay Rock, 
and shit. It's a lot of it's a lot of heavy hitters yeah. out there though. But yeah, I started off battle rapping. You think you ever fuck with it? Like jump back in that one? Uh, yeah, I want to. That's Ooh. something I want to venture, and I'll jump in it That'd for sure. Be hard. Yeah, I'll jump in it for Look sure. Look at it. <laughs> I'll jump in it for sure. Hell yeah. That'll be hard. That'll be dope. I like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I ask a lot of artists that. I just want to see who who want to do yeah. it or not. Like Hell that. Yeah. yeah. That's. But I want to see you like on a. You know, it's already platform yeah. battle rap. This guy, you know what I'm on saying? Some smack it's, shit, yeah, like yeah. you know. You are, yeah. You know, you I mean? are Even real. If it ain't that, you know. It's you know, kings of the underground yeah. type. You know. I'll do that. I'll do that. Yeah. Shit, they need to put me on a uh, on a summer madness or something, man. Yeah. yeah. Let me really go out there and kill somebody real yeah, quick. I want to see you rip somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see you rip somebody Hell for sure. Yeah. That'll be hard. That'll be hard. So yeah. look. You said, okay, so you was on 63rd at Onk House. You said you was living with Onk at that time? Yeah, I was living with my uncle and at sis, that time. And, sis, and that was the time yeah. that sis was braiding up here and all that. Hell yeah. So, okay, she was rough. how she old was, was rough. you at that time? I was, uh, shit, I was nine years old at that time. Okay, and take me around. Now, how did you land, how did you land the migrating to Mobile? I, uh, I was born in, uh, in Long Beach. Mm. And when I was born in Long Beach, we just tend to move around. Kept moving around all through LA, <coughs> all through shit. We was in Linwood, Southgate, everywhere. We landed at my uncle Bo house on fucking 63rd and Victoria. Um, shit, I finished all my school year there, and I ended up going to jail. I went to jail. When I got out of jail, that's when I started tapping in with my dad. My dad from Riverside, California, from Riverside. You feel me? My mom sent me with my dad after I got out of jail. I was like 14, 15. She sent me out there. I've been out there with him like ever since. You feel me? I went to middle school out there. I went to fucking high school out there. So it's like, that's how all that shit came about. Okay. Okay. Uh, any any cities in between, or it was straight Long Beach to LA? Nah, it was uh, Long Beach to LA, Compton. Shit, I bounced around, man. Like, shit, I went to, I went to fucking Davis Middle School in Compton. Right after that, that's when I had moved out there to uh, Reno Valley. I was like, that was like my fourth after my 14th birthday, like two days after my 14th birthday. I was out there in Reno Valley with my dad for the rest of that time until now, until the time that you see me, which I'm 25 years old. You played it. You ever played any organized sports or anything? Shit, when I was a kid, I played uh, football for Linwood. I played football for uh, Linwood Vikings. That's crazy. We was the champs that year too for like two years straight. But shit, like I said, see how it's crazy. I moved around like I was yeah, in every I, crazy. Yeah. I went to fucking. Uh, I can't like if, even the time when I was staying with my dad, I'd come out here with my mom for a year. You feel me? Like I went to Paramount High School too. Around the time that uh, shit, YG, Compton, AV, all them niggas was going there at, around that time. And then I go out back out there to Rio Valley, do three, four, five years. You feel me? What I'm saying yeah. like. Just coming back and forth and shit. When you was locked up, when, when you was locked up, it was like what? Moms was moving around at that time? Yeah. Was pretty, okay, so even. I mean, shit, like everyday struggle type shit, nigga. I ain't, yeah. You feel me? I ain't afraid to say it. Like, niggas was homeless. You feel me? We was going through everyday shit. That's how we ended up living with my uncle. But shit, it was my mom by herself at that time. She had five kids. You feel me? So we was just moving around. Shit was rough. You feel me? So we'd go be in one city for a month, you feel me, and turn around and have to leave, you feel me, because, you feel me, like, we getting into a family, or, you feel me, we in this hotel over here, so, my dad was more stable, so after I went to jail, it was like, you know what I'm saying, like, okay, we just going, I'm going to just, you feel me, I got to go, type shit, I didn't check out of school, nothing, I just left, like, the next day, you feel me, type shit, after I got out, I left, like, yeah, he had a uh, barbershop, Gorilla Black had a barbershop, like either Hawthorne or Gardena. So Means took me there the next day, I rapped for him. So he like, all right, man, I'm, I'm fucking with you, that shit was hard. Like, come back at the 31st of this month, and we're going to have a meeting. We have a meeting every, you know, end of the month, and I'm going to have you rap for the whole little group and all that shit. So I came back, I rapped, everybody was fucking with me, I ended up fucking with them through, through Means. Uh, shit, I think like a week after that, I ended up fucking with DJ Ill Will. This was before like the whole kidding situation and shit like that. I did a song actually in his studio. Me and Means did a song in the studio. He co signed it and mixed it. This is recent or? Nah, this was years ago. That's why I wanted to know yeah. how old was you doing? I was like fucking 14. 14. 
See, that's what that's that's yeah. Yeah, that's what I want I was people like to know. 14. All while you telling this story, yeah. I want people to know you was fourteen. You yeah. rapped in front of the real black, yeah. a, a gold sounding artist. You know Hell yeah. I was in this shit early. I was really like, you know what I'm saying? Like I was really in the streets, man. Like, not cause I'm bragging nobody like I had to be. You feel me? So a nigga, like I said, niggas in the club and shit that at 14. Like, club. That's a- <laughs> some crazy shit. Some crazy shit, bro. He, my nigga right here, he'll vouch you tell you for real. Honest, Before we get up out of here, nigga, I, I gotta hit you with the classic, nigga. You know what I exit out on, man. I gotta mm-hmm. know your top five, dead or alive, no order. Just who I need to know in your tape deck in your head who your top five artists are. DMX, mm. Cassidy, uh, uh, Jay Z for sure. Got some shit. Snoop, not because of the bars, just because of the legendary status he got. You feel me? Like how he really put on for the city. I, he was like one of the first ones. Um, and shit, myself. Mm. For real, for real. All right, all right. There, there we have it, man. We got the Refuse Media interview cracked off, man. Hell yeah, man. Know, man. Marino Valley, man. Y'all tune in to him. Where can they find you? Find me on YouTube, man. All social media is at I'm Young Note. YouTube, you can find me at Just Young Note. Um, everything else at I'm Young Note.